everyone in this video we are going to learn how we can assign the ip address to the router because many student is requesting that one so i taken this router i am going to connect this router with the switch okay this way and if you see this interface is g0 by 0 by 0 so you need to remember this is an interface or you can go inside the cli of the switch or the router where you are planning to assign the ip and if you see this is a ISR router which one I am using here let me show you what is a model here ISR I think where it is this one ISR I am using the ISR and version is 16.6 .6. this is the version but any or no issue we log in to the device and now we need to configure the IP so what you will write you will go here you will configure the host name basic configuration as we do always and then you will check first of all what interface you have do show ip interface brief so now you have the giga ethernet 0 by 0 so you will write interface g0 by 0 then you will go under that interface and you will write ip address example if you want to assign 192.168.1.1 give space 255.255.255.0 and then you will write no shirt so this way we will assign the ip address to the router interface and if you want to check you can check how you will check you can write here show ip interface brief so you will see this interface is up and you assign the ip address here if you want to save the configuration write wr to save the configuration so this ip we assign the ip to this router okay if you see this router interface we assign the ip if you want i will put the label here so by seeing the label you know which interface what IP we assign so this is IP we assign to this interface and any machine in our network if you have any machine in your network they should have the IP from the same subnet because this is a gateway we are going to use so what IP we are going to assign here 192.168.1.2 so I will go to the machine okay I will go to the machine let me click here desktop and then IP config here I am going to assign this IP and the gateway I am going to put 192.168.1.1 gateway is nothing but what we can say entry or exit point so we assign the IP gateway is nothing but router interface which is connected to us that should be the gateway and if you see here I can go to the command prompt I can write IP config if IP config to get the information now you can see this is my IP address and this is my subnet mask and this is my default gateway okay so now i want to check i can ping my gateway or not so you will write ping 192.168.1.1 .1. so it is working you are able to ping the gateway so connectivity is not having any issue we don't have any connectivity issue you can send the data from here to here okay after that maybe you can say i have the isp or anything let me take one more router i can say this is a isp router okay we can say this is a isp router and here what i am going to do i am going to assign something here i will say this is a internet service provider router or let me move this way this is here imagine this is a isp i can say here isp1 or anything you can give isp or isp router or isp1 anything you can write I say ISP one here so the, you this is a ISP router and this is your company router your organization is very small organization imagine you have only one single PC later you will have multiple PC now only single PC and you are uh, trying to access the internet so how we can do here configuration is very simple first of all ISP configuration we will do in the ISP in the real scenario we are not going to do any configuration in the ISP router but here we can do whatever we want but you need to remember in the real scenario we are not going to do any configuration in the isp router so if you see i am inside the isp router here this one this is the isp router i will go here i will write enable config t i will write here host name isp1 okay and what else i can write here i can uh, go to the interface g0 by 0 by 0 and i will write here ip address and imagine this is IP address ISP is having okay 255.255.255.0 and I will write here no shirt 
so this is the isp and let me create one loop back in the isp so we can say this is the google server or anything we can ping we can say this is the internet we can try to access this from the our lan network okay so now if you check here show ip interface brief you can see i have two interface one interface is having the ip this one 200.1.1.2 another interface is having this ip that is the loopback interface i done this configuration in the isp router okay but in the real scenario you will not do this uh, configuration in the isp router and here i assign this ip so i will write here so by seeing that one you have the idea this is the ip i assign here and this side imagine isp give you this ip and he told you assign the this ip to your router interface facing towards the isp and set the default route towards this ip so what you will do you will do that one so let me show you how we can do here this one so if you see this is our router i will go to this interface interface g0/0/1 i will write here ip address and whatever the isp give me that ip address we are going to write i will write 255.255.255.0 and i will write here no shared and isp told create the default route so i will write ip root 0.0.0 then 0.0.0 and isp ip what is isp ip 200.1.1.2 so this way we will create the default route i will save the configuration also here but even though it will not work if you send any traffic from this machine it will not work example imagine you are sending some traffic to the google server and google server we can say this is 8.8.8 you are sending it but it will not work okay it will not work let's see here it will not work request time out because here we did not configure the nat what we can say see here traffic is coming from here it is coming from here and what we can say this is a private ip we are using private ip here and here is a public ip this is a public ip so this is the public ip this is a private ip so private ip cannot go to the public ip private ip cannot access the internet no one recognize the private ip because all the organization can use the private ip it is free public ip is important so public ip can access the internet and if you remember isp generally blocking the private ip isp will drop the packet whatever is receiving from the uh, private ip so they will not allow also that one so in that case you will not have the ip and also in lap also if you are thinking i am sending here in the lab and here no one block that one so okay the traffic will come here but this router don't know anything about your network this this network this router don't know okay see here the packet will come from here like this in case it will come till here and this router don't know anything about 8.8.8 we have 8.8.8 .8 .8 here but this router is having default route he will forward all the traffic here okay but this router don't know anything because we don't have the reverse routing this router don't know anything about this network in the lab i am saying but in the real scenario when any packet is coming with the private ip isp will drop that one they are going to configure the infrastructure acl so with that one whenever we are getting the private ip traffic they are going to drop that one they are not going to allow that one in the real scenario but here what i am saying here in the lab i did not configure any acl here so the traffic will come here but this router don't know the reverse path so he will drop the packet if i go to this router and if i write here like debug ip icmp okay i enable the debug here you can see the traffic is coming to this router in the real scenario isp will drop but in our lab we can see when i say debug ip icmp we can see here the packets are coming here okay packets are coming source but return he cannot send he is saying return is source is this one destination is this one that one is coming here okay if you say source is this one destination is this one it is coming here but the return traffic is not going okay return traffic is not going here it will drop here because it is not having the 
what we can say this router is not having the entry in his routing table about the network 192.168.1.1 network so first of all i will disable the debug and if you see show ip route our router is not having any information about 192.168.1.1 network isp router is not having any entry about this one so he will drop that packet he cannot send back so what we will do in that scenario we need to configure the acl here and select the traffic and do the nat so we need to do the nat configuration here if you know nat nat is very simple we done in our lab many times if you face issue no issue i will i will teach you now nat configuration we need to do so first of all what we will do we will select the traffic so i will use the access list access list 1 i can say access list 1 permit permit what traffic i have only one subnet so i will say permit 1.0 and wildcard mask we need to write 0.0.0.255 okay 255 so this way i selected the traffic access list i used to select the traffic so what i done just i selected this traffic and i need to do the nat configuration so i will write ip nat inside from inside source source list we need to give the access list uh, number we use the access list one then interface which interface is facing towards the isp that interface we need to write so th this is a interface okay and here i need to write the overload so let me remove this command and then again put this command so what i need to do here when i put the interface and then we need to write the overload if i write the overload then pad they will do the pad means many pc from our lan network can access the internet if you did not write overload one to one we will have mapping so now i will write overload after that we need to define like interface g0/0/1 we need to write ip nat in outside because this is going outside and we need to go to another interface whatever other interface we have and uh, this is the other interface g0/0/0 here we need to write ip nat inside so now our configuration is done our machine will start accessing the internet because here we are translating this ip from private to public and public to private now you can see here our machine is able to access the internet here and if you want to check here we have some entry show nat translation show nat show ip nat translation so you can see here he is translating here okay he is translating the private ip into public ip this one so they are translating and we are using the pad so they are changing the port number here what they are doing here inside local inside local uh, one ip we are using 192.168.1.2 and this is going the outside local to this one and when this ip is going outside so inside global will be it is translating into this one and they are putting this port number okay and then return traffic will come back so they will do the translation we can say this is a ip net translation so what they are doing they are translating the private ip into public ip public ip into private ip that's why our device is able to access still we don't have any routing here if you see here we don't have any routing in this one in the isp router show ip route we don't have any routing only directly connected interface we have and uh, like before we don't have anything here but even though it is working why it is working because our nat is going to work He is translating the private IP into public IP. That's why it is working. So imagine this is a small organization, so it is working, no issue. Okay, this is a small organization lab. We can say this is a small organization lab. If you have any doubts, you can WhatsApp us.